Okay, welcome back to another chilly episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. The reason I say chilly, here in Florida this morning, it was like 50-something degrees. And right about now, it's like 70-something degrees, and it's in the afternoon. But that's okay. So today we're going to make a, a recipe I'm going to call uh, a turkey skillet medley. Uh, it's stuff that I had in the refrigerator I wanted to get going. Plus, I had some stuff in the pantry. So, But anyway... Um, it's quick and easy. I came up with this pretty much by my own little head. <laughs> but it looks good, and uh, let's get to it. Okay, there's my said skillet. I've already used it to heat up the, uh, the turkey. I'm trying to keep this as healthy as possible. I got uh, Pam cooking spray. This here's my little honer for my <laughs> big knife when I was cutting up veggies. In the back there you got diced tomatoes that I drained, a can of those, a can of cannelli beans which I drained and rinsed. Uh, that's Penny's wishes, okay. Here I got about a little more than half a cup of water. Got some sautéed mushrooms that I had left over. Some of my multicolored bell peppers. Got a half an onion. I got eight small baby carrots diced up, two stalks of celery, one cup, I mean one cup, one uh, tablespoon of uh, jalapeno peppers that are diced. You don't have to use those. I have one tablespoon of garlic in the middle there and uh, one packet of taco seasoning, which is about three tablespoons, which I got in there. Start to show the turkey, and we're going to be having... Uh, you guys can mix yours with rice. Uh, Penny and I are going to try the uh, diced cauliflower, riced cauliflower. Okay, I'm waiting for the skillet to heat up again. Um, but anyway, what I was trying to do um, was come up with a decent recipe that's, you know, healthy. And I had all kinds of stuff in the refrigerator. And I'm, I was going to make another batch of my mushrooms, but... I said, well, I can wait on that until tomorrow, and that's what I decided to do. But then I said, ah, well, i got to start cooking it. So I seen a bag of carrots sitting there. I'm like, oh, i got to start using those again. And then I looked in the bottom drawer. I was going to use some cabbage, and then I saw the celery. I'm like, oh, there we go. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I'm doing. I call, I'm call, i calling it a turkey skillet medley with some mix of con con conglomeration of stuff. But it's all healthy, and it's going to come together pretty good, I think. Uh, I can't wait to try it. All right, hold on. And this here, uh, cauliflower, uh, riced cauliflower I did probably a week ago. Riced it up in the food processor. I had, two, I had Penny get me two heads, and then I broke it down into two-cup uh, two portions. Uh, anyway, I had to put it in the freezer, took it out, and this is what I got. So... Uh, but it comes in handy. We're gonna we're gonna use it. Uh, you guys can use regular rice if you like. Uh, I think it would go good with brown rice also, just because of the texture of the rice. But anyway, uh, we're gonna start cooking now. So all I did was spray oil in the pan. And now I'm gonna add. I don't know if you can hear the sizzle, but it's sizzling. You're going to hear a lot more outside noise like that blue jay back there. <laughs> uh, we got the doors open, so. Um, it's funny, my granddaughter, she uh, she texted uh, or emailed with Steph today, and Steph was excited because the uh, um, temperature was low enough, you know. And then so my granddaughter texted, oh, I know, our windows and doors are already open. <laughs> that was early this morning. So for us, it's like, like a little treat. You know, we haven't gotten real cold weather. Uh, so we'll take that out of there. Makes too much noise. But anyway, so we're having a nice day in sunny Florida. It's sunny outside, but it's our first real little chilly snap. They said we were supposed to get one a couple weeks back, but, you know, it never really materialized. But anyhow, I know this might seem like a lot of veggies, but uh, it's, it's going to be good. It's healthy. For all of us weight 
conscious people. We're going to have a good meal, I think. Yes, sir, buddy. Now, let me let this simmer a little bit, and we'll be back. Boy, the smell of just these three together, boy. Smells great. Like a, almost like I was making a soup. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, you're going to see me cooking on my cast iron more and more because uh, I've got quite a few pots back there, and I want to start cooking. I'm going to use all of them, you know, here and there eventually. But I want to keep using them so that they stay good, you know. I don't want to leave them sit too long. I'm afraid they get get rusty or whatever. Okay, so now what I'm going to do for a little bit of color, we're going to add in, this is a little, about a cup of uh, my diced peppers, and I like doing it that way. I did a video on these, how to cut them up, <laughs> put them in Ziplocs, and you just stick them in the freezer. Mainly, I think I, uh, it wasn't really my concoction so much, I think uh, my father-in-law, Ed, Showed me how to do these. He, he had a whole bunch. I said, oh, I need peppers. for." So we were there, and I made a dish, whatever. I was going to get some at the store. And he said, well, well like these? <laughs> he whipped them out of the refrigerator, already cut up. I'm like, yeah, that's like perfect, dude. <laughs> All right, so then we're going to throw in our garlic. And I also put in, while you guys was away, about maybe a teaspoon of salt and pepper. And I got my jalapenos here, and I'm doing those just for the flavor. You guys think they're hot, but they're not. It's <laughs> just a flavor thing. All right. Now, if you guys are seeing this thing, and I know you are, <laughs> it, looks, it looks great. Okay. So now, so now, ooh. Well, I can smell them jalapeno, a little bit of jalapeno smell, great smell coming coming out. Smell the garlic a little bit. Okay. So now again, I gotta run to say something else somehow. All right, we're gonna take our cannonelli beans. These are you know cannonelli beans. You know somebody asked me what what the heck is that? It's a white kidney bean. <laughs> And that kidney beans, you see red ones in that? This is the white version, I guess you call it. But anyway, uh, that's what we're having here. That was your Amazon backup noise that you heard there. He's sitting in front of my driveway. I don't think we're supposed to get nothing. I don't know. It's hard to say because, like, Emma uses the account. Penny uses it. I use it. Uh, so, who knows? Huh. Okay, now we're going to put in our diced tomatoes. That's supposed to be a small can, so I... All I did was put in uh, half of what I had out there, because that, that one was a big can. I didn't have a small one. That's what I, I envisioned putting, like, a small can of diced tomatoes in there. And I knew I had diced tomatoes in the cabinet, but I didn't know what size they were. See, that's, that's, like, perfect. I didn't want to overdo anything, you know? <laughs> Domino, please be quiet. Okay. Now we're going to put in our mushies. I love mushrooms. <laughs> Just like about as much as I like them cannonelli beans. I know this is going to look crazy wild to you, but the smell in here right now is over the top. <laughs> All right. All right, so now we're going to add the uh, our meat, turkey meat. Like I said, I already cooked this, so. Um, I 
I mean, this looks good. It smells good, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> yep, and as soon as the, we swing into fall for the most part, I'm going to make some more soups again. I like soups. I have a, quite a few recipes for soups. But I'm trying to do different, I want to do different things. I don't want to, you know, like I'm, I made a bunch of chicken recipes and I still have more of those, but I don't want to overdo it. But I'm just showing you guys the versatility that you have, you know. You, you just, you know, there's so many different things. And you can make it yourself. You don't have to look up a recipe. You just put stuff in there that you like to eat. Like this here, that's what I'm doing. All this food in here I like, so it might not look the best sometime, but hey, <laughs> It is what it is. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So now, sprinkling in my taco seasoning. I was uh, perplexed, I shall say, uh, with this over the fact that I was going to... This is one packet, so... Uh, I was going to use uh, Old Bay seasoning. Because I thought that, because I like that stuff, that Old Bay. Not the hot sauce, the actual seasoning. That stuff goes good with... Seafood, it goes good with chicken, any poultry, pork. Uh, it gives it a quite a nice flavor when you use it right. Don't go crazy with it. Okay, so now, so now, <laughs> yeah, what's that? There's one guy on there. So now we mix. So now we mix. <laughs> and uh, anyway, he's trying to, I think sometimes he's trying to change that too. Okay, so the smell of the... Uh, Taco season is really coming through, so I'm going to just pour us. It's about almost three quarters of a cup. Um, and that's usually what the packet says on the on the packet of t taco season, and that's usually what they recommend. But I'm, I didn't want to put too much water in because then you got to wait for it to reduce, so it's not quite three quarters of a cup. And I can, boy, you can definitely smell this. It's delicious. Delicious smelling, I mean. I mean, you know. You know what? Just for the heck of it, I'm going <laughs> to... can't wait to delve into it, really. So I'm going to get me a little bit of... A, try to get a little bit of everything on this fork here. Mmm. Holy moly. Mmm. Oh, yeah. And wait... You guys, now this is good just like it is, but don't forget, I'm, I'm still going to add my cauliflower rice in here. And if you guys have rice, this this dish is going to put you in the front row. <laughs> Holy moly. I need to dream up more of these. I'm going to turn it up a little bit just to try to help evaporate some of this liquid. Oh, yeah. All right, let me have a couple seconds. Yep, we're still cooking away. You can see that it's a, it is reducing. Now, then I was thinking, boy, I should have had a, I could have made a nice little sauce if I wanted that. I could have put a nice little uh, thickener in there, like uh, cornstarch, and thicken this up. And, boy, that would have been really nice, huh? But, yeah. We're just, uh, just cooking away. It's, I've already, I showed you guys, I tasted it. It tastes good. <laughs> Sometimes I think of things and I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm going to try that, but I'm glad I did this one. This one really turned out, it's, you know, may not be looking the great, but. Okay, let me uh, start putting in some of this here. What I'm doing right now, for the heck of it, again, is squeezing out the liquid. See, that's a ball there of the cauliflower, the rice cauliflower. There's so much liquid in these. Same thing with the zucchini. I tell you guys all the time, huh? There's another one. And this, believe it or not, is two cups of cauliflower that's been 
zip through the food processor. You could have used a knuckle buster, but I was I like I like my little gadgets. Uh, you know, I do use a I use the, the knuckle buster. You guys have seen me do that before, and I uh, but I like when I have an opportunity to uh, try and use uh, whatever little gadgets I have stashed away. I was watching this guy on TV, or not TV, on the computer the other day. He's a chef, but anyway, he, uh, <laughs> he, 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 he doesn't, uh, he don't, he don't trust the knobs on his stove no more, so he buy, bought this, uh, I don't know, it's a long range, uh, thing you know it tells it works by laser you can go up to 65 feet and it tells you the temperature of your cooking vessel <laughs> but that's, I mean I've seen him before but he he's pretty funny when I was listening to him talk about it that's all oh everybody everybody needs one of these these are great you know because the thing of it is I tell you how many times I say on my on the other my main stove uh, I can put that on two and it's cooking like it's on high. Now, if I put other things on too, <laughs> it's like a two. <laughs> but that one burner, man, I'll tell you. It, it, one, but once you know how, how your, your stove works, what the burner's going to do, you're set. Okay. So what I can show you is all my cauliflower rice just sucked up all that extra juice after I sucked it all out of there. But there you go. That's what we got. This is where we are, and now we're just going to cut that baby off, let it sit a minute, and uh, we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, it's still kind of steaming away. I turned it off, um, but that's what it looks like, and I'm going to tell you something. Listen to me. This tastes fantastic. You guys are missing out. Okay, there you have it. I'm going to... This is my taste test dish. So I just want you guys to see it. Oh, look, he's all excited. He's smiling. He's ready to eat. So we'll see you at the taste test table. Huh? Okay, this is the second time that I'm without camera girl. <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> she's getting her hair done or whatever. My little pretty baby. Anyway. Oh, I forgot me a fork. I don't want to eat off of Elmo's fork. So anyway, I think uh, I got a few more recipes in my head, but I'm this one really is tasty. I think you know I tasted it. Like I said, I'm gonna taste it again right now. Mmm. Yeah, I'll bet you can put this over noodles. Mmm. Zucchini noodles, huh? Mmm. Taco seasoning gives it a really nice flavor. All the veggies in there, nice, turkey, good. I like the mushrooms. Everything's like done to the same doneness. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to finish writing this up. Once we upload it, the recipe will be there. You guys will be what you call in hog heaven. Yeah. Mmm. Telling you. <laughs> wow. But well, you guys can do the same thing. Change up what you eat so you're not always bored and don't go out to eat so much. But uh, yeah, this here helped me clean out the refrigerator too. You know what I'm saying? So, without further ado, don't forget. To cover up when you're out and about, protect yourself as well as others. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. When you're out and about, use that sanitizer stuff or gel or spray, whatever. Wipe yourself down, head on to the next thing, and do it out all the way till you get home. And don't talk with your mouth full unless it's a, a dish like this. Hey, watch this, huh? Nice little mushroom. 
Mmm. And the combination of flavors in here with the different veggies, it's, it's, it's nice. It's all smooth, nothing is out of place. So, anyway, speaking of that, give us a like, thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't yet, and when you do that, a notification bell will pop up after you hit the subscribe button. You smash on the bell, and that will let you know every time a new video comes up. And as usual, everything will be down in the description box. The recipe, the instructions, the quantities. And I just can't tell you how. I mean, I can say how it tastes, but you guys don't know how it tastes. And this didn't take me but what? Well, for prep time and everything, I'll, I'll cook in the meat, I'd say maybe 20 minutes. And then it took, what, 10 minutes or so to put together. So it's really a good dish. And I think you guys, if you give it a shot, you're going to like it. So as always... Stay hungry, my friends, and when you are, come back, and we'll give you another recipe just like this. It's Mr. Dan. We're out.